All right, I think we are recording. Hey, hey, this is OK, OK, and we are inking a page from Cribkeeper 14 today. Cribkeeper 14 is now available for pre-order out on Gumroad, and let's make sure that the microphone is working. Yes, the microphone is working. We're good. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it resets to default, so we are recording and we're live on the mic. Uh, we have chat going. If you need to chat, just uh, hit me up there. And I'm going to ink this panel and talk about what's going on while I ink. So this is Crib Keeper 14. The uh, first six pages are now available with pre-order. And the finished comic will be available in uh, the end of August. And then we'll move straight into a sketch commission month in September. Our tri-monthly sketch commission month. All right. And uh, this right here is the character Hazel. I'm drawing. Uh, she's a new character for the series. Most of the time, anytime we do a, uh, a comic story in Tales from the Crib Keeper, it involves all new characters, all new settings, and uh, that is remaining true for this. Uh, no, there are, there is, the crib keeper actually makes an appearance in this issue, so I guess she's not new, but she has really not been in too many of the issues. I think she was in one issue back when she made an appearance as a bar ki bar keeper and she has you know introduced stories but this is the first time that she's been somewhat of a important main character even though she's not a main character she's more like a a side character all right so this girl has pigtails and uh, she has something in front of her that she's ripping up. Okay. I'm going to keep what that is a secret. So this has been an unusual comic in that I've got six pages ready. I did not finish the eighth page. I knew I was not going to be able to finish the eighth page. And I knew it was going to be a stretch to finish page seven, which I'm working on right now. So I was like, well, let's just uh, let's make it uh, an unusual thing where we post the first six pages with pre-order and then we'll update the whole file next week with pages seven and eight. Uh, I'm seeing that this runs together and that's not usually a good thing to do. So let's see what we can do about that. Her uh, pigtail seems a little bit large over here. So we're gonna we're gonna make that shorter, I guess. Let's try curving it over more, and maybe that'll help break it up a little bit. That's better. I forgot what you call those th things where you know you run run into another panel lines continuous lines you don't have like arrows going into your corner pa page the corners of your pages it's kind of like general composition rules all right so <laughs> probably putting too much work into those pigtails over there all right you get bogged down sometimes i don't know does that happen to you where you're like you just start obsessing over something. Like, I gotta get it right. I gotta get it right. All right, so we're drawing Knuckles over here. Not the Sonic character. I've actually never drawn Sonic characters. That's kind of impressive knowing how popular they are. <laughs> Not that I really want to. I, I think I drew Sonic when I was a kid. But uh, 
that was a, a while ago. Let's make sure she doesn't look like she has man hands. <laughs> I usually draw fingers and hands a little bit more, I guess, bony and knuckular, like emphasizing knuckles a little more than probably typical because I just like it it helps me <laughs> like if I can split it into knuckles and um, knuckles and parts of the digit like parts of digits <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying if I can split it up into knuckles like the knuckle as a form it really helps me visualize what the hand should look like. I feel like it's harder for me to go like a straight line without the knuckle than it is to like split it up. But that could do a little bit, that could be a little bit with um, how I have like trimmers and it's hard for me to do straight lines. <laughs> As you're seeing here, I'm struggling with this line. Okay, so yeah, uh, if I can do shorter segment segments and not long lines, it kind of helps me. And it's nice to find little tricks like that for your own personal style. Like you just do draw and do something long enough, and you figure out little little tricks and habits that help you do your job better. All right, so this is where her overalls are. I'm a little lightheaded right now. Whew. Okay, there we go. She's wearing like a a long sleeve, a thin long sleeve shirt. So we'll just kind of basically draw her form and add a few lines onto it. I want to make it look soft. So a few of these look a little harsh. There we go. That's a little softer. Speaking of clothes, I probably need to find some new clothes. I don't think I've bought new clothes in, uh, I can't remember. I cannot remember the last time I bought new clothes. I've been given new clothes, but I have not bought new clothes in a long time. All right, I think I just messed that up a lot. <laughs> okay, well, that's much better. Okay, so this is a... Uh, let's draw some really strong action lines help show what is happening here. Actually, that's probably, we probably want to go sideways. All right, now, I 
actually. Let's keep that jagged edge going this way. I'm going to try doing some like lines like this, and then we will just kind of connect it from line to line to help really communicate that feeling of ripping pages apart. I don't know uh, when you shred a piece of paper, it doesn't create <laughs> that much debris, but um, we're going to just take our artistic license and say that's what happens. So yeah, I'm hoping I can have these pages done by Wednesday, and I might be updating the file as early as Wednesday. Today is Monday. Uh, do I? I'm not sure that's possible. It would be like Wednesday night by the time I could finish this. I found it takes me about two days to color four pages. So... We've got, how many pages here? That's a little wide for her. We've got two pages. It's gonna take me one day to color and I'm not finished with the inks. So tomorrow I can finish the inks. Wednesday I can finish coloring. So Wednesday night, I could have this done. This hairline's a little bit weird. I feel like the hairline would start right about there. But you don't, don't really want to start the hairline that close to the top of the panel. Oh well. Maybe we could use some, like a multiply layer and really do a vignette, kind of shade the top panel up there. Alright, so overalls over here. And I'm thinking that she will basically be just a uh, inked black space back there. Let's do basically black back here. This is her like her ribs back here. And this will be the overall kind of wrapping around her body. something like a now we've got her overalls back in there in the background kind of showing a twist not full straight on not completely symmetrical and uh, this is what I'm kind of struggling with. How much do you ink behind the comic page? I think we'll do a little bit of her neck. And we'll draw a little bit of this back here. And I've been thinking I might be going back and doing a little bit of uh, editing, making this kind of like a lock back here. instead of a just a hook 
at least on the panels that are somewhat close. Let's at least, let's at least, yeah, get the form, like that outline silhouette going. looks good now her shoulders pretty much hidden behind this comic page uh, let's make this a little bit thicker of an outline to help show that it's close up okay and let's do the same thing over here. All right, let's do that with the arm. All right, we need to close that hole out where the comic page is. And we're gonna superimpose an image over here. For now that will do all right that does it this has been an inking and now let's uh let's go in and uh no i can't do the coloring we'll just uh we'll call that as we'll call that as it is and come back later for a coloring tomorrow probably I'm going to finish up the inks on this page 7 and 8, and then we'll be ready for coloring. All right, this has been Tales from the Crib Keeper 14. This is Nina's Nursery, the story. And uh, more to come in that in the following days. Uh, stay up to date by subscribing and uh, follow me on Patreon and DeviantArt and... Uh, get connected through Discord.